All right. Item number six, discuss, take action to review and consider proposed term sheet agreement between Somerville County Hospital District and Somerville County. I made sure that Trey had a copy. All uh, five of us had a copy. Michael's here if we've got questions. Michael, if I say this wrong, you let me know. I believe this is a jumping off point where if y'all decide that you want to consider that we can enter into negotiations with the hospital district and work things out because I'm sure there's things on the term sheet that we all didn't agree with, some we agreed with, but am I right, Trey? Am I right, Michael? That this is just a jumping off point to start negotiations? So this would start negotiations for preparing an interlocal agreement that we would bring for the uh, hospital district to take over 911 EMS services and transfers from some of the Yes, and it's legally non-binding. It's just basically a good faith that we're going to work toward opens the ball. Yeah, opens, basically gets the ball rolling. All right. <laughs> I'll make it a motion to move forward, but it's all non-binding on the contract, that, or not a contract, on the terms, term sheet that we were provided. All negotiable? All negotiable. I have a motion by Wade. I have a second by Tammy. Any further questions, comments, or issues? Anything you'd like to say at all, Michael, at all? No. I just want everybody to, to, to uh, understand, as well as the fire department, this is just a starting point with the hospital. Not anything binding. Yet. All right. I have a motion by Wade Bush, a second by Tammy Ray. Is there open to the public discussion or no? Yeah, yes. you, can, you can say something you'd like to say. Mahoney, Usually, I limit it to five minutes. Do I need to time you or? Probably not. All right. Mr. Cool. Mahoney, what, uh, what, what experience do you have with operating an ambulance? Uh, I've been an EMT basic since I was 18 years old. Uh, we would actually hire a chief. Would be the first step in that and to take over and set that up. That's why the license process takes about six months uh, to get a license. So I, I've been a firefighter and an EMT since I was 18. So I do have some experience, but we would hire a qualified chief to run the EMS portion. Where would the funding come from that you believe you would need to monthly? It would be both between the county and ourselves. The county would be an interlocal agreement, so some of the current funds that are used for the EMS services would, would be paid to the hospital, and then we would bill all services. Okay. All right. Hey, you bet. Let, me add, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm you Mike Ellis, the CFO of the hospital district. And nice to meet you. You can step up to the mic if you like. I just wanted to say that uh, to answer the gentleman's first question on, on experience, I've worked with three other hospitals, rural hospitals with annual services. So there is experience there in that realm of this operation. All right. Thank you. And to uh, answer Brown's call, it would be we would staff two trucks at all times 24 7 and then have backup capability. Uh, I mean, my my thought would be, my, I'm still a trained basic. We would train several other basics that did a third truck if need be. We could actually have talked to some of my nursing staff about getting third for EMS uh, to be able to ride the truck. I, once upon a time, you could put an RN on the truck and they could go make a call. You can't do that now. They've got to have at least some sort of EMT basic training. So, uh, you know, we would cross train or train a multitude of people within the hospital for a third truck if need be. All right. I have a motion. I have a second. Yes, Trina. I would like to know if um, the fire department now is offended at having something else come in because it appears that it may be and why they would be offended if something else is coming in. I don't know if anybody would like to take that. I know there will be several negotiations going on before this would ever come to pass. I'll leave that up to somebody if they want to say anything. Absolutely. Uh, we've, we've worked many years to build the service that we provide to this community, and we do so with little to no complaints on what we provide for this community. and. We don't see the justification for anyone to try to move forward and take over EMS for this county. But yet, y'all don't do anything for the hospital transferring patients. We take emergency transfers when our staffing allows. And it takes forever to get 
a, a person picked up. There is a dire need. Dire need. People are almost dying. And you don't care. All due respect, Trina, uh, I think they do care, but I do have a motion to second. And okay. All right, any other questions or comments? All in favor of said motion? That's five, four, zero against. Michael, I don't know who will be signing for the hospital, but if you'll sign it, whoever's going to sign, and if we'll just get it back to Michelle to file, then it'll be public record. Okay. All right. So if somebody will, if you don't mind handing that back, it may be the CFO, I don't know who's going to sign that. All right. <clears throat> 